everyone, it's Tammy, and today I'm going to do something with my Julie Nutting dolls, and I'm not really sure exactly how this is going to turn out, but I thought I would bring you along for the ride, because some of you have asked me how I use them and what I do with them, because they are big. I mean, this is a big doll. She is probably close to seven inches tall, but I just love them. She's a little more than seven inches tall. But what's not to like? I mean, look at that doll. She's so cute. And then I have these border sticker or stamps that I haven't used yet, and I thought that this was so cute. And I have these plaids, and St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and maybe I need to send somebody a St. Patrick's Day something. I don't know. I honestly was going to send some St. Patrick's Day thank you cards, but I cannot find any of my St. Patrick's Day stickers. I purchased a ton of them from the Dollar Tree and um, from Target, and I have no idea where like the majority of them are, like the cute little leprechauns and stuff. I have no idea what I did with them, and I have been searching for them for days, and I am driving myself crazy. So I've given myself permission to move on, and I'm going to make one thing that's kind of St. Patrick's Daisy. I'm thinking, and then whatever happens, happens, and I don't even know who's going to get this or how it's going to work, but I also found this bag when I was looking, and I don't even know what's in it, but I thought, well, this looks interesting, because I have not seen what was in this bag for a decade, maybe. So a little I love yous. That's cute. Oh, there's something in here. A little die cuts. Goodness, see that? Uh, this is cute. And I remember this being in my upstairs craft room, so it's been a year since I've been in my upstairs craft room. Wizard of Oz, who knows? It's pretty blue. Here's some letters. Some green. The letters have clearly like gotten on wherever. Some more green, some more green, some pink, and some khaki. I must have felt like I needed some of those colors for something. Hopefully these can peel off or whatnot, but I don't know. I just am going to make something. That's what we're going to do. I'm kind of thinking at this moment it might be fun to do... <sighs> See, I'd kind of like to still do a pocket letter because I cut out some stuff for pocket letters. So maybe we'll do this as a pocket letter add-on and we'll put her on the front and we'll make her dress kind of fun. I don't know. Let's just start. We're going to start. We're going to stamp. We're going to have some fun. And we're doing it to it. And this is me totally how I am. It's, I know it's insane sometimes, but it is what it is. So I got out a big piece of Whisper White thinking if I needed to make a big card or because I wasn't sure. I got out a piece of Old Olive, but now that I saw those colors, who knows, I might just use those. I like this piece of Whisper White because she could fit on it nicely and then I could cut her out if I choose. So that's kind of where I was going with that one. And I think I'm still going to do that. So I'm going to stamp her in basic gray, I think doesn't really matter. The basic gray is a little less harsh than the black, but either one are fine. So I think what I will do is just bring this to this and hope that I didn't shake it. I may have. If I did, there's another side of the paper. I didn't do too bad. I didn't get all of it. You can even see where I left some of it off. But I'm seriously not going to worry about it because most people wouldn't even notice that. And I thought I had some. I need to put some stuff away too. Look, I mean, I still have these stamps out. And I have some of these die cuts. I need to do some putting away is what I need to be doing. And here are the baby wipes. I thought I had some. They were just hidden underneath my twirly swirly thing for my inks. And then I have a haul video that I haven't put everything away yet. Hug. A day in the life, man. Well, here's some more stamps. Oh, this is funny. 
My office recently started Cocktail Fridays. It's just that it takes place in the ladies room handicap stall and I'm the only one who knows about it. <laughs> oh, I need to use that, that's funny. Okay, let's move my drinks over here. And I say drinks because I now have three cups over here. I have a juice, a water, and a coffee. And I have my St. Patrick's Day stuff. So there, and what was I doing with this? I was getting a wipe. I probably didn't even need to clean her yet because I'm gonna stamp her again. So there's her on that, which is fabulous. But I need to pick out what paper I want. Why didn't I do this the way I'm supposed to do this? I've even told you guys a tip to do this and you tape those sides together and it works out very well. And there is cat fur all over my tape. Thank you, Jambo. But you know what? Again, this is real life stamping. Real life crafting, man, real life. And it's fun. So I have blue and green over there. So let's see. Oh, that's some blue and green. What other patterns do I have here? And there's just blue and green and there's blue. Okay. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I think I like this very first one. Oh, I guess it's the second one, but blue and green. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just going to stamp her little body or her dress, not even her body. I'm going to stamp her whole body, her whole dress. I'm going to ink this up. And I have her whole dress on here. And clearly I won't want her outfit to look just like that. So I'm gonna take out my green over here. Cause I think I like this with this. Yeah, that looks pretty. I'm going to stamp her whole body again, her whole outfit. And I'm going to stamp her outfit again. I could have been a little more frugal and, and did it like up here and probably even done it this way. It would have been nicer, but like I said, I've had this in my stash forever and I haven't really done much with it. So just use it. Don't need to be so crazy about it. And then I would like to stamp her again because I think I'll be able to make two dolls out of this. So let me see if I can find another scratch of Whisper White. Oh, I don't see a long scratch of Whisper White. Although, what is this? Oh, here's a long scratch of Very Vanilla. Close enough. <laughs> I wonder, no. so much easier when you have it stuck to the other side. I don't know why it gives you a little extra control, but it sure does. So now I'm just wiping her down, cleaning her off so she'll be ready for the next time I want to use the pretty girl. And these I sometimes will just put back in here. I think you saw me take that one out. You know, why not? Okay, so now, I really wish we could listen to music while 
we were crafting together because that's what I would be doing normally, but I don't want to have a copyright issue. Okay, so now what I'm going to start doing is doing some fussy cutting. And I'm weird with my fussy cutting. I like to get a small piece of paper first. This is really pretty. It's like shimmery green. So I'm just, you know, getting all of this off. And the bigger pieces I can keep, I'm going to keep that one for now. And this one I'll keep. And this one I'll keep, but um, the smaller pieces I usually throw away. I'll keep this little piece of whisper white because you never know when you just need a scratch. Even for color scratching for this, I might need one. So I'll keep that. And now I'm going to take, I think, I don't know, I think I'm going to use my small scissors. They both have good things about them. I don't know. This one I might use my big scissors. We'll just try. Okay, so I'm just cutting around my doll. And move the paper, not your scissors. I know I've told you that before, but you might be new, you might not know, you might have forgotten. I hear the mailman, maybe he's going to deliver some goodies. I'm recording this on March 10th, I don't know when it's going to be posted. But tomorrow is my birthday. So he might be really delivering some goodies. I ordered a pair of pajamas on Amazon and they are supposed to be here today. So that would be nice even. I'm going to be going to visit Tanya in Utah in a week and a half now. And we're going on a retreat and they're having a pajama night at the retreat and we both talked about getting new pajamas <laughs> to wear to the retreat because you know it's okay it's one thing to have pajamas that you wear around the house it's another thing to have pajamas that you have to wear in front of people so we both ordered a pair of pajamas I think that we ordered similar but different colored ones and um, I, I don't know if those are the ones that are coming today I kind of think it's a different pair where I ordered just my own pair and she ordered a pair. Um, they don't match or anything, but... So, yeah. Oh, the mailman is stopped in front of my house, so that must mean he's getting a package out. I don't know, he just took off, so he didn't stop at front of the house. He might have just had a package to put in the mailbox. Maybe it fit in the mailbox. Who knows? Or maybe, since Amazon's bringing it, it could be not USPS. I don't know. Either way. So there's one little girl and I haven't finished. There's still some between her legs and between her arms. I use a um, razor blade thing to get those out. What are those called? An X-Acto knife. I actually have one that I want to try that I am not sure how to use. It like fits on your finger. If I think about it when I'm cutting these out, I may 
get that out and try that. When I bought it, it looked pretty interesting, like it would be helpful to cut smaller areas and maybe be more precise and exact with the exacto. But when I've tried to use it, it's been confusing and difficult. But I've seen other people use it and they make it look like it's so easy and great, so I don't know. I'm sure it's the user, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong yet. Tomorrow, my collab, which it will already have been up by now when you guys see this, but my Julie Nutting collab is going up, so that's exciting. And I guess I can tell you since it's already up, but it's a St. Patrick's Day theme, and it had to use shamrocks, and I did the cutest dashboard, or not dashboard, but, um, oh, what's it called for your planner when you have, it like, a divider? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I did a rainbow of little Julie Nutting girls. I love it. I don't ever make my own, except for this time. This is the first time I've done that, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, and my friend Tracy, who is Tracy Plans here on YouTube, she suggested to do the dash, the uh, divider, and oh, I'm so glad she did, because it's, I think it's really cute. I can't wait to see what everybody else puts up. That's one of my favorite uh, YouTube videos to watch is what every, all the other collaborators do. It's fun on Sundays to do the plan with me and watch and see what other plan with me gals do and guy. Um, but I don't know. My heart is so with these Julie Nutting dolls. I just love them to pieces. And again, it's so bizarre that I like these so much because I was not a doll person. I liked Barbies, but I did not like dolls. And I still kind of think that dolls are creepy. They don't do much for me. But these dolls, for some reason, I love. And other people are like, ooh, I don't like those dolls. They don't have faces. And I don't know why. That doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. And now I did buy some peachy cheap. No, I didn't. Some peachy cheap keen faces. They're stamps that are faces but they're going out of business and they're only, only going to be doing digital. So they had them for 50% off and I did buy some of those, but I have not used them because I don't really care that they don't have faces. I kind of think that's adds to the charm. I don't know why or how, but to me it does. So now I'm going to cut out her skirt and her blouse and I'm going to do it together at first and then I'm going to separate them. And that's why I did it twice, because then I'll have one, I'll have a skirt and a blouse separated with this color, and then I'll, with this plaid, and then I'll have a skirt and a blouse separated with the green. So then they'll each have an outfit. So that was the method to that madness, if you were wondering why in the world I stamped a second doll and what my thought pattern was. So when you're cutting these out, cut out their arms. You don't need any of that. I know it sounds funny. But you don't need it. So lots of times when I'm doing it because I am a freak and I know that I am, I just don't even stamp their heads and stuff because I don't want to cut all that off. I don't know. It just seems weird. I'm cutting off your head. Ooh. So I am a little freak and I... Would prefer just to not even stamp it so then I don't even see it to know that I'm cutting it off. Not that it matters because it really doesn't, but I am just a weirdo. So see, here's the dress and the skirt, or the blouse and the skirt, or the cardigan and the skirt. And I am just going to cut the cardigan out from the skirt. And when you're doing this, you need to be really fussy and cut right on the line because your next piece of clothing is going to be a different one and it needs to fit together. So there's that. 
and that. And then this can be in the trash. And then we're going to do the same thing with this green dress. Some of their little outfits are so cute. I'm like, I want one. <laughs> I'm just fussy cutting, fussy cutting, fussy cutting. My computer is telling me something. I want to send Katie a St. Patrick's Day little package too. So maybe I'll do that, but maybe one of these will be used for her. And maybe I should have used the black ink on these. I think that would have actually been just a little bit crisper and a little bit better maybe on the clothes, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is take one of my favorite markers to do this with. And I'm going to outline the back, but I'm, I'm like putting a black line along the edge. I think that will help define this. And it's best to do it from the back side because if you mess up, it gets on the back side and not on the front side. And by messing up, sometimes you'll like, your hand will move and you'll get it on this like that. So there we go. And people think that fussy cutting and stuff takes forever, and sometimes it does. I mean, I don't know. You have to wonder if the project is worth it. Sometimes then it's not worth it if you have to worry about it. Because I like to do it because I think it's fun. But if you're doing it and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I want to have to go through all that work. I don't mean to sound rude, and don't take it that way, please. Then you probably don't really want to do it and if you're not getting enjoyment out of it then don't do something else or or you know use the ones that are pre-cut or something like that maybe or don't necessarily fussy cut as much as I am you could you know leave a layer of white all around or whatever you want to do I think that's all right but I just want you to have fun because if you're doing it and you're not having fun then you are probably going to end up not liking it too much. Okay, so here is the thing I was talking about. You're supposed to put this on your finger, and then somehow this little blade, I don't know which way it's supposed to go. Somehow this little blade is supposed to cut
Well, that did all right. I don't know if I'm wearing it on my finger right or not. Huh, but I can kind of see the appeal now that I'm doing it because the blade will like move. All right, all right. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm going to try it this way though because I'm wondering. Actually, now that I did it today, I'm loving this little thing. That just really worked well. Wow. It's a little bit hard to do like on her hair and stuff, but I think that's hard anyway. And it's easier than taking the scissors to it. It like totally does move with you. And it's a little nice too because it's just a little bit of a blade showing through. It doesn't have like the huge intimidating blade that the, oh I just ripped that piece of hair off. Oh well. That, it, that the X-Acto knife has. It feels like it's unscrewing though. I'm sure I'm pushing harder than I need to be. That's cute. Okay, and then I'm going to do her little hair up here. I'm totally craving a glass of wine right now. Nobody else is home yet. Alex is working out. Dennis is still at work. I actually have curried beef in the crock pot that I did do a recipe on, so you guys will be able to see that. I hope it turns out well. I hope I like it. I don't really know. So... We shall see. I really don't know which way you're supposed to put this. I don't know if I like curry or not. I know the house smells different. I have a candle going in here, but I don't know how helpful that is. I think that the overwhelming smell is definitely curry. So I have been trying to get some Foodie Friday videos up for you guys because I know that a lot of you had told me that you liked those and you want me to do more food videos. I heard that a million times, so I heard ya. It's just hard sometimes because sometimes I don't feel like I'm making anything that's worth videoing. And then other times I feel like I don't want to cook. <laughs> And then other times I can make four videos in a week, which is pretty much what I did this week. So I'm just scheduling them for different Fridays. And 
and you guys will see them as I get them posted. But there are some videos coming. There was one posted today. I don't remember what I posted today. But everything has been good, too. And I would tell you if I didn't like it. And then, I don't know why this is so long. I mean, why do they give you such a long... This thing. That is weird. The whole thing is weird, but it works. Okay, so before I clothe her with new clothes, I am going to color her. And you can see how you don't always get all of the white along here. If it behooves you, you could go in with that same marker and just make sure that you have, that you like close the loop on all of these little lines so that it reaches the outside. It'll be a bolder, thicker line here on her arms and such if you want to do that. It's not necessary. It's totally whatever you feel you need to do if you get it close enough you really just have to rub this along and it's fine but some of my areas I didn't get it close enough to do just that and again I should be doing this with the back side toward me but I'm living dangerously for whatever reason It's harder to do it with the backside because you can't see it, which is why I don't really particularly like to do it that way, but it really does save you from messing up. See how I just messed up right there? And that would have been on the front, and then that would be hard to cover. And then you have a whole different mess, so. Oops, see, I just totally messed up. Totally got her leg. Oh, well. Those are times I tell myself that it's all right. Nobody will notice. Which is probably not true. I mean, especially if I'm giving it to somebody crafty. You guys notice things just like I do. But honestly, we're awfully forgiving to other people too, so... If I had noticed that on something that somebody gave to me, I wouldn't care at all. And I would know exactly what happened and be like, yep. And I wouldn't notice or focus on it. Now, when I make the mistake, you kind of, you're your worst judge. You're your worst enemy. You like will look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, I messed up. I need to start over again. But in actuality, nobody cares. And crafting people, we're all so nice. I mean, really, we realize how hard it is to do some of these handmade things that we do. I mean, this isn't hard, but not everybody would want to take the time to do this. And trust me, sometimes I don't want to take the time to do it. And I am going to use my new touch, or my new, oh, what are they called? Fine color markers. I did a tutorial on these, too, and I am just loving them. I need to figure out where to put them so that I can leave them out all the time. I was even kind of thinking I might put these out in lieu of my Touch 5s because I like these a little better, I think. I'm going to take a drink. Okay. I don't know though. This one doesn't like tell you like what flesh color is or all of that. And I do like having it tell you, although I think it's wrong that it says flesh because we all know that that's flesh if you're Caucasian, but if you're not Caucasian, this isn't flesh color. So why would they, I don't know. I don't know why that's called flesh. It kind of bothers me. So, oh well, it is what it is, I suppose. So I'm going to use this one on this because I know that this is a skin color and I don't want to have to search the color out yet. I need to do like a crosswalk 
of colors and such, but that's going to take a while and that isn't going to happen soon because I'd rather be crafting than, than uh, documenting, I guess. So I will do it someday because I know it will just help, but right now is not the day. I'm trying to get some videos in so that when I'm in Utah, which is probably when this, when you guys are seeing this, you guys have something to see because I won't be creating a lot of new material while I'm there. At least I don't think, I mean, I think we're going to do some videos and such, but I mean, and I don't know, I might be surprised. We'll probably end up doing a lot of haul videos and I think we'll do a plan with me, but I don't know when I'll post those, I guess. I don't know if it will be like live while I'm in Utah or if it'll be after I'm in Utah. So I need to get some things scheduled for when I am in Utah. And that's where this comes in place. So there's that one. And then I think I am just going to do this one. I'm going to pick a color. Pick a color, any color. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, that's too dark. And that's 166. Let's try this one, 172. That one might be too light. Well, goodness, those are good, like, Caucasian colored skins, I guess, but I kind of wanted a little darker skin. That's kind of pretty. What number is that? 168. Here's 180. I think I'm going to go with this 168. I'm going to color her this color. Now, I know that a lot of people wouldn't ever color with their alcohol markers with just one color. They would color with two or three or more colors to make it the blending and all of that. When I'm doing something like skin or a face, I don't know how to do that exactly. So I am just usually at this point, I'm still just using one color. Sometimes I'll try to venture out and use two and try to get fancy, but honestly, I I'm not sure how to do that. So I just go for one color and I deal. And if you have questions on how to use your alcohol markers, I would certainly search how to on YouTube. There are so many people who do such a great job. And I used to watch a lot of them. I honestly haven't used, haven't watched a bunch. I kind of found my my way of doing it, and I kind of like the way I do it, and I'm satisfied with the results. So I'm okay with that. But um, I watched videos to find out and to get to where I am. Not that again, I don't want to ever make you guys think that I'm saying I'm great at this or even good at this or that I really even know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to do what I think looks good. I didn't want that white band around her leg, so I just went ahead and colored over that with my marker. Sometimes they'll look a little like you can see where the marker like stopped and then I just go over that again. Most of the time it will correct it, sometimes not. Oh, I need to do her arms. <laughs> Did I do the other one's arms? That'd be funny. I don't remember doing her arms, but I may have. Let's see. Oh, yep, I did. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to try to find a color that 
kind of matches it if I can. Do 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 This is gonna be too bright, I think. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this. And just go around the edges of her dress. That way when I put the regular clothes on, if it's if I cut it just a little too loose or loosey goosey or whatever, it will be fine. I guess I'm doing her shirt in this green. Well, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna do it all. it doesn't matter I want this same green to be on the plaid and on the solid if I did two different colors then I wouldn't want the same color on the top and the bottom but because one is plaid and one is a solid I don't mind using the same color for both of those so there I just need to outline it oh I didn't finish just like that and I'll do that same with this I was gonna start with her hair ding bat and because this is the one that I traced with my black I'm just going to go to the black line do 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 I might do green shoes, I don't know yet. I might leave this color out so I won't forget what color it was. I might do the headband in this color as well. I think I'm going to give her red hair. So let's see. That's pretty red. Oh, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go in. She's going to have some red hair. And I'm going to give her some darker red highlights. Cute. And then I'm going to give her, let's do dark hair. Um, One ninety one is black. I don't know if I want to go straight black. I 
Yes, I am. The problem with straight black is that lots of times you can't see the the lines underneath it, and those really do help when it comes to seeing the definition of hair or the details of whatever the little thing is you're coloring. So hopefully this will dry a little bit and let you see those lines. If not, I may go in here with a colorless blender and try to work a little bit of that black out and maybe even insert a little bit of red and this one as well. All right. Yeah, that red totally gets lost in there, but I'm not sure if I need it or not. I kind of think it looks cute. So now let's go ahead and glue this on, and I'm going to use my favorite fast drying, very thin lined art glitter glue. And there's several places that you can get this. You can get it on May May Made It's site. I think it's just May May Made It, M-A-Y, M-A-Y. Or you can get it at artglitter.com. And then there's some also some scrapbooking places that sell it, such as scrapbook.com maybe, scrapbook. I don't know. You'll have to search for the ones that carry it. But if you just type in Google Shopping, art glitter glue you should be able to find it that's cute even with the white we don't want that we want a plaid shirt so if you wanted her hair to be plaid you could do that if you wanted her headband to be plaid you could do that her shoes whatever that's one thing that I think is really cool about the Julie Nutting dolls and I mean it's with anything really it's not just Julie Nutting but I just like them right now. I am stuck on the Julie Nuttings. Isn't that cute? And then I'll do the same thing here, only it will be opposite. So that's why I cut out two. I could have just not cut it out and you know have been done, but I figure for the extra time that it takes to make a second one, it's worth it because it's way faster to make a second one when you've already got one cutting out than it would be from scratch. And I'm not wasting any more paper or anything because I would be using, well, I potentially would be using it anyway to cut it out because you know this part doesn't take much extra room. I hope I'm making sense. And here's what I wanted to show you. Like right there, there's a little spot between where her jacket is or her cardigan or shirt or blouse, whatever, and the skirt. And had I not colored this green, you would totally be able to see that. But because I colored it green, you already are like, oh, okay. You can't even really tell that I did that. I kind of messed up her skirt. You can see I didn't like glue it exactly right because there's too much green showing over here, but that's okay. It worked. Oh, it's so cute. So now I need to figure out what color I want her headband, and I'm thinking I'm going to do that green. I think I'll do the green for both of them. And I'm going to do their shoes in green. And you know what? One of the fun things about being able to color and do things yourself like this is that you can make everything matchy-matchy. Like, I can make... These shoes are going to be the same color green as is in her shirt, as is in her hair. 
you know, everywhere. I, I can just do my own thing and make sure that it's the same. And that's so much fun because you know in real life, these would never be the same shade and you'd have to work hard to get it to look halfway decent and all that. But this is your little fantasy doll world. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to take this black and I'm going to color just this part just a little bit because I know it didn't get stamped all the way there. And there we go. Aren't they cute? Two little girls and they're just opposite but still matchy matchy and adorable. So let's see. I think I'm done with the marker, so I'm going to go ahead and put them away. And these came from China, and it did take quite a little minute. Well, not that long, but it took a little bit of time to get these, just so you know. Probably two or three weeks. I'm still waiting on some stamps that I had ordered, too, from another company, so I keep telling myself that so I won't forget. They're more gorgeous girl dolls. Okay, so. Those are cute. Oh, I love them if I say so myself. I love the paper PC and all of that. So much fun. So if I'm going to do one for my daughter, probably going to do it in a little box so she can open it and see what's inside and all that. So I will save one for my daughter and the other one I'm going to do in a pocket letter. So let me go ahead and get out the pocket letter or the pockets. And then I do have I thought I had these divided and I may have but I'm not sure if they still are but maybe they are This one kind of made a rainbow. I think I might do this one. Well, this one kind of makes a rainbow on the page. I think. <laughs> so it's red, orange, and it's going into yellow. So it's kind of like a rainbow on the page. See that? Kind of cute. And I think I want to put this one with that and I'm going to use this one for Katie. And let's see here. I'm going to make like a little banner 
I wish I knew who I was giving this to. <sighs> Maybe I should figure that out. So let's see at the different things. I love this bow, but I don't think I'm going to use that one. I kind of like this banner. this and I'm gonna do it in the basic black and some commotion going on in the neighborhood stamp right at the edge of something so that might be good okay Cute. I need to leave a little bit of the black on the bottom. I'm not doing a very good job of that. Go ahead and just use my scissors cut this top part as opposed to using my um, whatever it's called
called my cutter. My this. I'm going to glue these. I think I'm going to use my snail adhesive. And I'm just going to stick this down to the outside of the plastic here just for fun. I think I'll put a rainbow up here just to kind of make sure that people understand that this is the concept of the whole thing. some of these out. And I'll put those behind here so that they can have some of these rainbows too. Hi Jimbo. Hi Jimbo, you want to say hi to everybody? Oh my goodness. Sweet monkey bear. Oh, there's my sweet monkey bear, Jim Boney Spamones. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Oh, mommy loves this monkey boy. Yes, I do. I love the Jim Bonies. He's got big teethers. Look how big his teethers are. We call him Fang Banger because he's got huge big teethers. He's just like a T Rex. He's got T Rex teethers. He just he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Who's the wine monkey? Yay, Jambo. Yay, Jambo. <laughs> He's going to roll the dough and roll the dough and mark it with the J. Aren't you? Yes, you are. You're so cute. I love this monkey boy. He says hello to everybody. Oh my. Oh, big squeezes. It's over there, okay? I love you, Jimbo. crazy how much I love my animals. I know. I can't help it. I just love them to pieces. They're such good boys and girls. So I have these little mini craft sacks that I got at Hobby Lobby. I don't know how long I've had them. I found them today when I was looking for my St. Patrick's Day stuff. And they were in a bag that I haven't opened for a long time. So that's where they were, and I thought that they would fit right in, and they do. How fun is that? So I can use that for something. These are cute little St. Patrick's Day stickers. I think I will cut a couple of rows off. And then I will cut them in half, give half to whoever gets it, and then I will 
decorate the top with the other half. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I like to put them off the page a little bit, and then I take my little scissors and I cut off whatever is off the page. So it still fits, but then, oh no, where did it go? Is that it? Oh yes, it is. But then you can take this part and stick it on here somewhere so it looks like it's just a little bit of a sticker is stuck on the edge. So it kind of looks like it's like randomly just put wherever, and they are, but. It really helps if you're doing that with, um, oops. With something else, um, like if you're doing background paper. I'm going to put it right here. Oops. I think I am. If I can get the Dargon thing to cooperate with me. I'm moving something outside. I can hear people. And it looks like a refrigerator or something, maybe. The neighbor's got a new fridge. There we go. See how that works. So it's like falling off the page. <laughs> so there we go. And on this one, I think I'm going to use a cute little unicorn and a cloud. And a star, maybe. And how about a, today is awesome. And then maybe another cloud. Like that. And then I will cut some of this up. person can have some and I need to have a rainbow too <laughs> they're all seeing buttercup it's okay I have my front door open because it's actually pretty nice out and they all can hear the people down the street. It's a few doors down and across the street. I guess it's two doors down and across the street, but I can hear them. Almost plain as day, they're talking pretty loudly. I know I want to put a couple of these in the back. Of one of these. This says a four leaf clover for good luck. That one's the four leaf clover side, and this one is the word side, so I'll put them like that. Oop, but I don't want them to be on top of each other. Do, do, 
do 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 And then I want some gold. I guess I'll cut it at one by three and a half. And then I'll cut this one, this green sparkly, at, let's see, what if I did, ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, yeah, I'll cut it this way, and then I'm going to cut it at two and a half. So this will go along the bottom of one of the pages, but then I'm going to punch it out too. So this will go on the bottom and this will go on a side. But I think I'm going to use my punch. again. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. Do, do, do. So I'm sorry that this has kind of turned into a really long video. I hope that you guys don't mind. I hope that this is helpful to somebody. Oh, I don't want you on top of each other. I told you this already. my green oh there it is doop 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 my little leprechaun stickers would be really cute but oh well it'll be really cute anyway won't it I'm gonna put this in the back I think and I'm gonna put this one on the side
some goodies in here. I think I'll put some of these spare little flags and yeah, I think I'll just do the flags in here. There's a lot of them. And then here's some full boxes. And a weekend. I think the weekend's too big. I'll fold that over and I'll put a little bit of washi on it. To keep it closed. That looks cute. And then I think I'll use this as a little washi holder. This will be cute. This washi I think from I got from a face, Facebook page called Bargain Washi. If you guys are interested in that, you can check it out. She'll sometimes do sales where they're a dollar a roll, um, but she always does a three for eight dollars or something like that. I could be a little off three for seven dollars maybe I don't know but um, it's a decent deal I think and she ships really quickly and she gets some unique designs that I've never seen anywhere else this washi was from um, the planner addict kit That's a monthly subscription kit that if you go to Planner Addict, um, Google that, you should come up and it's $15 a month and you get all sorts of goodies. It's fun and you like you don't know what you're going to get so I kind of enjoy that sometimes. I know some of you don't like surprises. I kind of do. My son is one that does not like surprises. He'd just much rather you tell him. Oh, I guess I can use my washi cutter. And I would put some gold here, but I really don't have a ton of it, so I'm not going to. So sorry, Charlie. But what I think I'm going to do... put that in the back and then I think what I'll do is I'll take the washi and I'll just do a stripe and a stripe And a stripe. And a stripe.
then I can put these in here together, together, together. And I think, I think this sticker, this one needs a rainbow on it too. Maybe a fun glittery rainbow. There we go. on the side because I like that look Let me use this, even though it's supposed to be a little card. I kind of like that just like that actually. Then I will cut some of these out. For the recipient. Do, 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 do. These are from Hobby Lobby. Looks like they were $3.99, but I'm sure I got them on sale, half price, or something like that. This is coming along really cute. I don't have my lid on her. That's pretty darn cute. So then I'm going to take... 
some twine. Trying to get a little more of this. And I'm going to get some gold ribbon. And my hole punch. these holes if I can find them. Sometimes that's the hardest part. <laughs> there's one. And there's one. I think it depends on the lighting too. Sometimes I must wait until it's too dark out to have good lighting to see where all the holes are. It was way easier this time. Do, do, do. I want the person to be able to use this again so this way I can put it like this and I can still flatten it out and send it in the mail which is nice. And then this one I will stick through the same hole. I'm going to even it out. I'm going to even this one out, kind of. I'll just put this in the middle, wherever that feels like it is. If one's longer than the other, no biggie. And then I'm going to tie this in a knot. So that these hang down. And these hang down and she hangs down kind of like that that's cute and let's see what else do I have up my sleeve over here nothing really for a pocket letter hmm I used all of that so let me see what I have over here in my stash for pocket letters. And do, 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 do. I have these. These are left over from the holidays, but I haven't eaten them yet. I actually think these were from Tanya. And I haven't eaten them yet. I haven't even opened it yet. What's wrong with me? Well, 
well, something's wrong with the bag. I can't even open it. And let's put one of those in there because it's dark green. And then I have these sticky notes that are also green. And that's the thing about pocket letters. You don't have to give all of them, you know, just give a few of them, a small little stack of them. So let's see, where do I need stuffs? I need stuff in this one. And I need something in this one. There's a little bit of something in all of them. This one's kind of weak, but I'm also going to put my note there. So I think I'm actually pretty good. And I kind of like how this just has the rainbow on it, just because I think it's cute. I don't know. I think that's pretty good. I think I'd like to receive it, so hopefully somebody will like getting it. And I'm still not exactly sure who I'm going to give this to yet. I do like it when I can fold them up and put them in an A, or not in an A2, but in a number 10 envelope. And hopefully I can still do that with this chocolate in here. If not, I may need to take the chocolate out and put something else in its place. But I'm going to go with, hopefully I can do that and it will be fine. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I wanted you guys to see the whole process of the Julie Nutting dolls. And here's the other one. I'm going to do some sort of gift box for my daughter, and I will use this one in that just because I think they're so stinking cute. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.